Yes, people, why football here? And the quarter final draw for the UEFA Champions League is out, and I'm here to react and review it. As always, if you enjoy football reactions, news, all types of football content, this is the place to be why football. So I'd really appreciate a subscription on my road to 700 subscribers and drop a like down below so this video gets out to more people. I'm going to talk through my general thoughts on each game individually, as well as the format of the Champions League draw, because I do believe they changed it. I think it was a couple of seasons ago, but basically how it is, is this is a quarterfinal draw, but you also do know your semi-final opponent. So it's like your road to the final in a way, which is a bit of a controversial thing, but I'm going to talk through it. Starting with each game, I'll start with Chelsea, Real Madrid, the first one, big, big game. Looking forward to it. Of course, it's a replay from last season's uh, Champions League. Or, uh, or was it last season or was it the season before? I think it was last season when Chelsea beat Man City. It was like football's just gone crazy nowadays. I can't remember what happened when. But yeah, Chelsea played Real Madrid in the semi-final of that season. They managed to go through Real Madrid looking for a revenge because obviously they beat out PSG, one of the favourites in this competition. And I reacted to that, to that second leg in the Bernabeu where basically PSG crumbled in front of our very eyes. And Real Madrid look a decent team, look a very good team. Of course, I spent yesterday uh, roasting the whole of La Liga and why all the clubs are basically doomed in the Spanish league. But in Europe, Real Madrid's got that edge, they've got that fear factor because they've got the confidence and the swagger winning the competition 13 times the most out of any side. They've got that arrogance in the competition where they basically feel like it is theirs to lose. No matter how bad their team is, no matter how good their team is, they always are going to be favourites in this competition due to how many times they've won it. Chelsea, on the other hand, look, they're a great team. You, No one can say Chelsea aren't a great team. They fell off the title race. They were pushing at the start of the season. Now it's a two-horse race between Manchester City and Liverpool. But they're still a good team. The problem with Chelsea is they've got all the out outside factors. Abramovich selling the club. They have to pay, I don't know, 20000 on away games. That's their budget. There's just a lot of external factors feeding into the football. And look, the players are keeping a straight face. They nicked a win against Newcastle. You could tell they weren't quite at it. They weren't at their best run or form. So I'm not sure how that's going to play a part in this fixture. But if I had to predict, I'm going to predict Real Madrid for this first tie to go through. On to the second one, Man City versus Atletico. Now, a part of me is like, oh man, I wish Man United went through now just to see a Man City versus Man United Champions League tie because that'd be incredible, man. Man City versus Man United in the Champions League, I would have loved to have seen it. Regardless, Atletico went through and well done to them. This is going to be a tough game. It's a way different kettle of fish to Manchester United. And the fact that they squeezed past Man United, drawing at home and just about winning away, like, you're going from basically getting Bs to now you're going to have to go and try and get A stars in tests because Man City are an unbelievable team. They're a much better outfit than Manchester United. So just because they breeze past uh, Man United, do, they should not think that Man City is going to be an easy, easy game. Uh, the first leg is in Manchester, which I guess is good for Atletico because they'll shut up, they'll shut up shop in the first game. They're obviously not going to go for away goals because it doesn't exist anymore. So that type of element probably gives an edge to Atletico. They will play out for a nil-nil in Manchester, then play the game uh, in uh, Madrid on the front foot and try and get a win. And also, it is a dangerous game for Man City. Now, Man City, they have a history of bottling it in this competition. They lost to Lyon. They lost the final to Manchester City. The uh, Sorry, they lost the final to Chelsea last season. So, this is a Man City's competition by any means. Yeah, they have the squad to win the Champions League. No one can doubt that. But do they have the mental side to win the Champions League? That's what I doubt. Because let's not... Let's not Make no, mis make no mistake about it whatsoever. All of Man City's managers are here to win the Champions League. They are not here to win the Premier League. If they were here to win the Premier League, they wouldn't have sacked Mancini back in the day. Because he's the one that bought them the Premier League. He wasn't good enough to win the Champions League. Pellegrini wasn't good enough to win the Champions League. Now Pep Guardiola has come in, yet to win the Champions League. Until this man wins the Champions League with Manchester City, I will not say his Man City reign has been a total success. I refuse to say it. Because he's here at Manchester City Football Club to win a Champions League. And if this is the season, this is probably their best shot. Last season they should have done it, they bottled it in the final. The season before they should have done it and they bottled it against Lyon. Like how many more chances is this man going to have to win the Champions League? They've got a favourable-ish tie against Atletico Madrid. Like they didn't get Liverpool or something. Because that would have been tough. Liverpool, Bayern would have been the two teams you wanted to avoid. Let's be honest. They've got Atletico Madrid. And if they beat Atletico Madrid, they're playing Chelsea or Real Madrid. So they're avoiding Liverpool or Bayern Munich to the final this is a good opportunity for Man City now to stamp their authority and try and get to the Champions League final again and win the competition for once because that's what their fans want is what the obviously their president wants 
and it's what Pep Guardiola needs to really stamp his authority and say he's the best manager in the Premier League maybe could be of all time if he wins the Champions League like one of the greatest managers of all time because he's only ever won the Champions League with Barcelona managing Messi Iniesta Xavi nor them man so yeah it's a big big game for him that being said I'm going to give Man City the edge in this one I think they will progress on to the other side of it Villarreal versus FC Bayern Bayern Munich lucked out man they lucked out because Villarreal got past Juventus great game great second leg for them it's going to be Bayern Munich going to be too much for them though like fair play for Villarreal getting through like I did not expect them to get this far especially under Unai Emery I'm happy for him but it's the end of the road I really cannot see Bayern Munich slipping up here just like uh, Real Madrid, Bayern Munich have that edge in this competition. They're mentally a great side. They've got fortitude, resilience. You never want to play Bayern Munich. Incredible players, but they also toy with you. They're like, for me, they're like a hybrid between Liverpool and Man City. In terms of their, they pass the ball a lot. Like, to the extent Man City do, they keep possession. But they also play on that, like, front foot in terms of mix up long ball, through balls, short passing, that kind of just suffocating play like Liverpool do as well at the same time so they're a mixture between those two sides Bayern Munich either way Villarreal will not want to see Bayern Munich here they wanted to see Benfica they didn't get them they got Bayern Munich I think it's going to be easy progression for Bayern Munich through to the next round and then finally ending with Liverpool versus Benfica Liverpool fans are gassed they are so happy right now because they're going for the quadruple and they got the easiest tie they could in Benfica Man City fans are punching the air because <laughs> Liverpool can actually rest players for midweek against Benfica to focus on the league because they have more than enough quality to beat this Benfica side. Now, fair play Benfica getting through to the quarterfinals. It is not an easy feat. But please do not tell me that, they, that they've got enough quality to beat this Liverpool side. There's no way. Liverpool should really blow them out the water in the first leg at Anfield. Game over. Finish it right there in 90 minutes at Anfield. Don't even have to worry about going to Lisbon, basically. That should be Liverpool's game plan. And Liverpool, like what I'm talking about with Bayern and Real Madrid, have an edge in this competition. I feel like when, you, when you've won the competition already a few times, you get that like feeling that you're meant to be here, that arrogance you play with, that swagger you play with. And I feel like Liverpool won the team to have that in the Champions League. Like, Make no mistake about it, I honestly do believe that the fact they've won the competition so many times before was one of the reasons why they beat Barcelona 4-0 at Anfield. That resilience, that fortitude, that arrogance, that fact that we are meant to be here. Like, this is our competition. They literally turned it around on Barcelona at Anfield. Unbelievable game. And I do think they'll have enough to beat Benfica here. Great game would be Bayern Munich versus Liverpool. I'd love to see that. I'd love What a game that would be. But yeah, I'm going to give the edge to Liverpool on this occasion. So that's all my predictions on the quarterfinals. I'll go through to predict their semifinals when that happens. In terms of format, I don't really like the fact that you know who your semifinal opponents are. It defeats the whole... Uh, like objective with cup games like in your league you play everyone twice that's how it is obviously the fixtures determine when you play them but the bare bones is you play every team twice with this now you're sitting there I like the fact that you qualify and then you're like who are we going to play in the next round like it could be a hardest game ever in Liverpool Man City or it could be the easiest easier game in Benfica Villarreal like you like that element of uncertainty with this it's like right so we play Real Madrid if you're Chelsea we play Real Madrid then we probably play Man City. Then we probably play Bayern and Liverpool. Sorted. I don't like that fact that you know what you're going to play. It defeats the objective of a cup competition. But that's just my opinion at the end of the day. It shouldn't change the fact that we're going to get a great Champions League last eight. And these are the eight best teams in Europe right now. Well, according to uh, well the Champions League, if that's how you see it, it's the eight best teams in Europe. And I can't wait for it. As always, if you enjoy football reactions, news, basically all things football, please consider subscribing on my road to 700. Drop your thoughts of the Champions League draw in the comment section down below. As a fan of one of these teams or a football neutral, like my team isn't even in the Champions League, but I'm interested. And either way, if you're new around here, if you enjoy that football content, please consider subscribing on my road to 700 subscribers. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.